Yesterday I was at a wholesale club, and while in a wholesale club, I was going through the meat section, and I found a whole beef tenderloin peeled. This one is approximately seven pounds. You're going to find, rather than buying cut fillets, this is a cheaper way to buy it. It is eight ninety-five a pound. This piece of meat cost me about sixty dollars. You may think that that's a a lot of money spend all at one time, but you'd be surprised how many meals that you can get out of here. Today what I'm going to do is show you how to break down a whole beef tenderloin, which can be broken down into a Chateaubriand, center cut filet mignons, tornados of beef, which are little smaller fillets. We're going to have the tail, and then there's chain meat, which would be cut up that you can use for uh, beef stroganoff or beef stew. Okay, the uh, peeled tenderloin normally comes cryovac, which means it'll keep for a couple of weeks being vacuum sealed. I've taken it off the cryovacuum. You'll notice on the outside there is a, a cap of fat that we're going to try and pull off. And underneath that is uh, a silver skin and that we are going to cut off and if you look very closely at the meat what we want to do is pull this off without wasting any of the meat. The tools that you really need to do this with are going to be a boning knife, a sharpening steel to keep the blade reset on your boning knife, a bowl or some other utensil to put your scraps in and we're peeling off the fat. They call this a peeled tenderloin because normally there's a much bigger piece of fat that is over the top of this. Now this here on the top is the silver skin. We're going to take our knife, go underneath our fat, and we're going to cut towards the front of the tenderloin, what we want to do is get very little of the meat with the silver skin. The silver skin is very tough, so you don't really have to worry about tipping your knife up towards you that you are going to cut the silver skin. The idea of tipping the knife up towards you is so that you don't get any of the meat. You're just sliding this underneath the silver skin so that you're just getting the silver skin. Now we take this off the top. And it comes off in small, small strips. And we get a little bit more here. Now on the side, you'll find this is what they call a chain meat, which is could be considered waste, but it really is not. And there's a natural divide that you can see where it comes off the the fillet. We're going to take our knife and just kind of follow where. This comes down across the whole flight. We're going to set this on the side and continue to trim off the fat. And if we flip it over, there is some fat on, on, the, on the bottom. You can see where the, the ribs were. The reason the tenderloin is so tender is because if you look at where a, the makeup of the physiology of a cow, this comes from underneath the ribs. That if you think of a cow being like this, your tender meats are here, your prime rib, your fillets, and then in the back and the shoulder, which are muscles, these are the meats that should be cooked in, in liquid because they're not quite as tender. Now the, uh, 
this is kind of a fatty tenderloin. They aren't usually quite this this fat. Uh, the end of this is the tail. This is the tornadoes where we're going to try and get like four ounce pieces. In here is the center cut fillets. And this is the head which can be cut up into not as pretty fillets like the center cut. Or it could be used for Chateaubriand or small roast, one and a half to two pounds. And this is the Chateaubriand end of it. The uh, So what we're going to do right now is we're going to cut off the tail. The tail can be cut into pieces to use with the chain meat for uh, beef stroganoff or beef stew. Uh, what I used to do in our restaurant was I would take and roll it in cracked black pepper, cook it very rare, chill it, and serve it as an appetizer with a horseradish cream sauce. I'm going to make a straight cut here. And this gives us our tail meat and we'll trim the fat off the bottom and there you have the tail meat. Now we're going to try and cut and set our scale for uh, pounds and try and get some four ounce tornadoes here a little fat on the bottom That's about three ounces, just lightly light. These things I used to do with a whiskey peppercorn sauce. So that would give us a six ounce portion. And we'll do one more portion. And this will give us one dinner for two people. We'll cut off a little bit of the fat. And there we go, that's just under six ounces, which is a good portion for, for a dinner. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to cut, try and get some eight ounce fillets out of this. And we'll see where we are here. Uh, just under seven ounces, which is also a good size portion. Actually, you get a little older, you shouldn't eat quite as much red meat. Try and make these uniform in size. And we'll get Okay, so what we have here now, we have two orders of Tornados. I got four center cut fillets here. We can try and get more fillets out of this. This head weighs just over two pounds, which is about the right weight for a, for a Chateaubriand. Or else we'll cut some more of the fat off of this. And now we have options where we could try and take the center part of this and try and cut it into more fillets. We can use it as a roast. We can try and get two or three more fillets out of this. We can cut off the side of this and add it to the chain meat for the stroganoff, depending on how much meat that uh, we want for that. The chain meat, a little bit of a pain in the neck, but it is still tenderloin so it's, it's very very tender meat you want to take the fat off it and any silver skin and this will give you pieces for a, uh, a beef stroganoff and actually this, this meat is just as flavorful if not more so than your your center cut fillets 
and we'll see how much we come up with on this. But although this seems like it's expensive when you buy it, it is a pretty economical way of getting a number of meals for $60 and you're getting restaurant quality and not paying the extra money because you could buy a center cut filet and then cost you anywhere from $12 to $18 a pound pre-cut. And we'll keep trimming this. We want to keep a little bit of fat on this. And that's going to give some flavor when we make the uh, stroganoff, which I will probably make in a couple days. Make some homemade egg noodles. And let's see what we have here. Okay, it's about six ounces, so we're going to need some more. So I think, because we're probably not going to use this as a roast, we'll see if we can get some more fillets out of here. They won't be quite as pretty, but it'll still be the same. The same meat and keep trimming the, the fat off of this and let's see if we take cut straight down here cut a little bit of the fat off the bottom got another little piece of meat for that and this gives us about a six ounce fillet and we still do another one Sometimes when you go to the grocery store, you'll find that they serve, sell uh, tenderloin, but they don't do it as a whole peeled tenderloin. It's done as uh, the butt portion, and this would be considered the butt portion. We still get a nice fillet out of that. And we'll give another straight cut down here. Another little piece that we can use for... Uh, Stroganoff. There's a little bit of silver skin in here that you're going to want to take out. And you can make that really nice when you go to uh, put it on your grill. I'll do one more out of here. So even though you're coming out of the butt portion, you still, if you cut it right, you can still get a nice looking fillet out of there. So right now I got two portions, I got some tail meat for an appetizer. I've got two portions of uh, tornados of beef. These have a little bit of fat on it. We're going to take off that uh, gives us now, so far, we have one, two, three, four for eight portions of fillets and I'm going to cut off this little bit off the side of this this is a nice section here what I'm going to try and end up with is a pound of meat for beef stroganoff which would give me two eight ounce portions uh, or because it's served with noodles and whatever and mushrooms you can maybe get three or four portions out of a, a pound it'd be four four ounce portions let's see what we have left on here eight ounces There's some silver skin on the bottom of this. So 
So this is 13 ounces and we'll just cut this up to use for the stroganoff. So that gives us just over a pound. So what I have here for two people, uh, enough beef for uh, beef stroganoff for two people, uh, two center cut fillets, you got eight sections of fillets, so meals, you got uh, another meal, and we have an appetizer. So that's a lot of meals for $60.